Okay, in preparation for the concrete, I've um, framed up the area and here making it so that it will come level with the inside of the workshop and then on the outside it will drop down till it's level with the rail. Um, then at this side it will step up more, so I'm going to have a 75mm piece on top of the existing concrete. Um, it will slope again back into the workshop, but I'll form another channel like I did here in the concrete to drain it away. It's the best way for me at this point. Um, this will carry on all the way around to the compound, making everything slope the correct way and um, increasing the thickness somewhat. Here the, the old garage door is going to be, so I'm leveling the area and raising it up somewhat so that the door will fit in the space better. I've also had a chance to paint up the, old, uh, the new frame and the rendering that uh, I did yesterday, so everything is now all white. Just a little insight for those of you that don't know, concrete, calculating concrete, if you're going to buy it, which normally it's best to buy it ready-made and delivered as I will today. They're sold, sold in measurements called cubes, it's cubic metre, which means if you can imagine a square box, one metre, one metre, one metre, that is the size of your concrete load. That's how they calculate it. So a thousand by a thousand by a thousand. Minimum load, half cube, which is what I'm getting, and it will do always, it's quite a lot, it's half cube which will be 1,000 by 1,000 by 500. Measure your area, depth, width, length, and it will tell you how much you need in that cube. So take for example, you want five meter length by one meter wide, and 100 mil deep. That will be your half cube. Huh. Now you can work it out for yourself. Right, I'm going to try and work out where this um, door handle wants to be. 200 in, I remember that much. 30 wide, I remember that much. Um, my problem is... I will. Now it was 130. So that would be the sort of length-ish. So I have to first find out what the height is. Definitely there. Okay, I've just um, put insulation tape on the edge just to mask it because I'm going to do quite a bit of painting on this. 
Um, but I want it on now, and then I can just peel all that off afterwards. Um, <laughs> fixing silicon. Putting up into ooze out. Now the inner handle, I only need it to initiate the opening from inside. Um, so it doesn't have to be somewhere that it's going to be used all the way. Um, initiate the open and then when it's fully open to close it so that is where the handle is so that I can open it from there but once it's fully open it doesn't matter here because I'll grab out of the outside handle so I can still have it where I want it which is there right same again in fact, let's put it here because it doesn't need to be anywhere significant. Put it there. No. Okay, a bit of old steel. I want to use this as a door stop when the door opens fully. I don't that should stop it going too far. Pretty hard stuff. Do with the other one, stopping it by a bit, by the door out. And really, here comes the JCB if you want to move that door. Now it's a standard builder's PVA, um, just helps bond the new concrete to the old concrete. Okay. 
Köszönöm, hogy